Epic intro music. Hello, Pinnacles, hello, computers, and welcome back to part 18 of Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so I was reading the journal again, and it looks like we do have to give Gale the next magical artifact to progress the mission, because it says he needs a third one. So in, I was hoping that he would come, that is kind of prompt me, but to hear. doesn't look like that's going to happen. Now, which one do we do? <laughs> the only one I don't want is this. Thank you. And he approves again. We must be getting on quite well with him now. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. We're going to find out. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself the lady of mysteries the goddess mistra she revealed herself to me and she became my teacher in time she became my muse and later even my lover oh we're a goddess that's exactly what i'm thinking <laughs> oh yes we enjoyed each other's company Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. He got too curious. What a fool. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. We don't really need to actually tell him that, though, do we? Uh, how exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Uh, let's hear it, let's hear it. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. Flying Tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the Goddess of Magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Wow, this is good. Like, all of these characters are brilliant, aren't they? <laughs> That's funny, but... And what was the answer to the question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and 
welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. Oh, damn! The exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. There's Crazy. A city the size of Waterdeep. Oh, okay. Is there nothing we can do? My chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. We're good for now. <laughs> we'll continue together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down i stand at a precipice but if you do not give up hope neither shall i i'll fight i'll resist as long as i can that's all we can now, do even i am tired of the sound of my own voice let us venture forth brilliant and now we will end the day that's why i started I there because we've still got the bane <laughs> if you ever feel the nebris magic overtaking you what will you do if it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Well, everyone in this bunch has their own problems, so he's just joined the most like-minded crew he could. <laughs> I was wondering about that mighty lord. Ah, yes. Carsus. Ah, yes. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried, with a spell of his own devising, he endeavoured to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realise what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. 
It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Wow, that is crazy. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone? For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the Weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Got to admit, I do love the lore in this game. It is really good. It's like its own mythology outright. We will end the day. We will do the long rest. I don't think any of them have anything new to say, but sometimes they comment on... So Gale's been walking yeah, around so they're all, they are all going to comment sort of on him. magic bomb in his chest. I don't normally want to begrudge someone their That secrets. is huge. <laughs> That's something I should know. We all had our secrets though, and now we all know. Um, and that's the interesting thing, is Halcyn does feel like more of an outsider. He does not comment on the rest of them, on, on the events, sorry, on the events that happen, like the rest of them do. The dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Ooh, I've wrestled the ball. Let's just do it. <laughs> oh, it's 15. Okay. Oh, we did it. Nice. I didn't want to use the other things on the dog. <laughs> he relinquishes the ball. He's well tuned and slick with drool. Okay, so we're not going to find anything on the... We can't... Well, there must be something on the ball. There must be a reason for that. Oh, we can throw it. <laughs> okay, so we can throw the ball. That's quite fun. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right at the top so I don't sell it by accident. It's like a squeaky ball, you can hear it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So we'll just hear their comments on Gale, and then we will go and check out the Arcane Barrier. Okay, this guy didn't have a comment on him. To think, Gale's had this devastating all within himself the entire time, and only just mentioned it. Yeah, he is crazy. He like that from his friends. You can't trust anyone these days. But like I've already said, they all had a secret, but they could have all shared it. Today, today, today. The only thing that we've got left, I think... Yeah, we need to find an infernal mechanic. I don't need... Maybe we can check the druids out. That's my look, because we haven't actually gone back to talk to any of the druids since any of this has gone down. But there's nothing else to do around here, really. So we need to keep talking to him about that. But yeah, Marina is the only one left, really, before we move on to the Night Song. So we're just going to go back over there. And if we... So we still have to cross the swamp again. I'll probably go around the same way. It seems like there's a bit further down there that we didn't quite uncover. But there's probably not too much down there. Maybe we have a look quickly. Yeah, so let's just get this. Oh, there's a guy here. Ah, fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Who are you? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. That Interesting. Why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. He might fight us, though. I kind of need information. Let's try the top one. 
the lady of this house. A more innocent name than some I could call. But it is what she is, the daughter concern you. Her kind of hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. What price is that? easiest to lose, and the hardest to do without. But the thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to draw him out, I'll pay whatever she asks. What is it you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. <laughs> I like danger. The truth. Now. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, oh, it's a 20, so we're going to add the bonus in. But we get the plus two and a plus four, so we can possibly get plus six. And there's two dice. So we could only need one high. Come on. We got 16. Uh, it's possible. No, we only got plus one on the guidance. That's a shame. Probably not going to be able to do it again now. That Because, she, well, we could have done it on the last one. It's a shame that she didn't roll high as well. Uh, she could still get the roll look, plus four look, so she just needs a plus two. We did it! Okay. That was very lucky. That was very lucky. <laughs> you what? You what? You what? I was <laughs> hasty with my words. <laughs> I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. Oh! Now to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Uh, let's, again, what does your tribe want with a creature like that? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. Oh, that's the, the whole story? Battle, no, okay. He paused too long. Children, <laughs> we've been searching for them ever since. Well, we'll talk to him. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? We've met, he's not the type to come quietly. You do know him. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. I'd like to kind of see if I can resolve it. Because we don't want to send him to the camp and just have him kill him or something like that. I honestly don't know where he is. As you say, as you say then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. So do you think we'll still find him out here if we go speak to Astarion? Okay, well, I'd like to go back and talk to Astarion first before I go ahead with that. Speak. And I'll just see if they, they don't seem to have any input as usual. <laughs> Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Drink from... Why would we do that? No. There must be a reason, but we're not doing that. <laughs> Need something? I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He was a gur named Gandril. A gur? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Kazmor. <laughs> of course he'd send a gur to hunt me down. What's so special about the gur people? Verse, they make excellent monster hunters. So find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Casador not appeared and saved me. So why send one after you now? Perhaps. He probably thought it was funny. But more likely, he's trying to send me a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. How concerned should we be? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape, turn into mist, 
Call walls to do his bidding. Shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. What do you suggest? First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. And kill any monster hunters on sight. But what about his story, though? The other guy had a story. He didn't... I wanted to ask him about that. So is it just a complete false story? I don't know. Right, well, let's just fight this guy, then. I mean... <laughs> Hopefully he's still there. We'll just say he's under our protection and see what happens. I was hoping that he had more to say about what he had to say, you know? Ah, well. If you have, I could not fault you for lying. His kind have charms beyond our mortal means to resist. I can show you who he truly is. If you will just tell me where to find him. I'm not going to help you find him. Astarian has quite the friend in you. I'll make sure he knows that at the end. The lady of the house awaits. So yeah, let's just attack him. I can show you who he truly is. Okay, 64, but it's 4 on 1. They rolled 24. Good lord. <laughs> okay, well, let's roll. So we didn't Critical miss though, um, but it still explodes, and he's dead already. Wow. Twenty damage is pretty good though. Okay, eighty-four percent chance. Let's go for the most damaging. So goading. Nice work, and we'll do the pommel. Oh, we could fin we could just do the action action search and finish him off. Let's see what we can do. We rage and reckless, yeah. What do I have to lose? Um, honestly, to stop him having another attack, let's just use the action. Uh, and then we'll go back and see what Astarion has to say. And we missed. Brilliant. You missed point blank range of a crossbow there. Idiot. Okay, just shoot him. Right. Get out of the acid. Okay, so we got. Oh god, get her. Now she's standing in it. Come on, over it. Oh, get up, Gale. Go on, enjoy. Okay, so she's just going to stay with us the whole time, is she? <laughs> this is for one more companion, I guess. Invasion plans. Because look, Halcyon doesn't even have one. He just stands in the corner awkwardly. So, apparently, you just need to take these masks. I don't know if everybody needs to be wearing one. I guess they do. What am I to do? Oh, oh my god. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, okay. So that was literally, he ran through. I didn't even tell him to run through. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. So, that, is she still in here? And she said still breathing. I haven't seen it yet, so he must have been talking about himself. <laughs> More for me. Another step forward. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, there is enemies in here. I didn't even know. <laughs> so what's all this stuff? And then we've got mask of terror, mask of regret, mask of vengeance, servitude. Okay, so seventy. Let's go. Ow. So now these three can probably go for him. Although maybe we should be targeting the one that's actually going to move next like we were. Yeah. 
84% chance and a good chance to do a lot of damage. Okay, 10. Good, good. Yeah, okay, maybe we do that. We could probably go over there and shoot him. Yeah, actually, I think I'll shoot him because that's one less move against us. We're not actually going to kill this guy. 60% chance, though. We're just going to have to gamble it. 60% chance to kill, innit? Nice, okay. So now they're only going to actually get the one move. Ooh, that was powerful. He's going to get the next move, whatever. So if we work on this one... Yeah. Oh, and he, did he die? Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, we're right on each other. We always say not to do that. Right, this is going to be dangerous. Throw everything we have at him. 70% chance, come on. Oh, and we got the kill. We got the kill. Absolutely. It's going very well. Very well. Yeah, let's go. 65% chance, come on. Oh, we got the miss. But uh, we can actually have another go with the action surge. Let's do it. Let's go for the goading again. No, the disarming. Come on. Critical hit, and we've won. Great. Uh, get out of the poison cloud. Okay, so... Oh my god, we're, we're taking damage. Christ, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? God, I've got no heals. But, um, yep, the... we've done the short rest already, which may have been silly. So maybe we want to go back for the long rest before we continue, because we're probably still going to have to fight her. Just try and take a quick look around. Oh, look, that sells for quite a lot. Yeah, let's take that. So we've got to go, kind of go here and then jump across, I guess. Let's just use some help. Let's try it. And we need to use it too. I know we've got a few. We might have to use all four of them, though. Yeah. Right, I'm going to save it as well, so that we still have a chance to back out. Should mind my step. Right, we're going to have to toggle group mode and probably jump them one by one here, I reckon. Okay, lots of traps. I don't see where the disarm is. Okay, so let's jump them across one by one. Oh, really? Really? Okay, peculiar flower. Oh, does that get rid of the gas? Maybe we ought to try that. Okay, ten. Let's just use the guidance. Can't afford to miss this. Okay, so it didn't get rid of the gas, or maybe it will clear partially. 7 HP to jump down there, look. Oh, only 4 if we move it around, look. Oh, he's walked in the thing. Such an idiot. Okay, well, we can't do anything about it. He's either going to get up or he isn't. No. Okay, so we have to clear that. Okay, we've got the scroll of revivery or whatever it's called. Uh, we just need to get down there. Can we do it in, like, turn-based mode? Okay, so we might have something in turn-based mode, but we still have to run through the fire. You've got to keep moving. How much does it hurt to...
Okay, so we can run through it like that, but we do have to take the fire damage, so there still must be a better way to do it. So we're through, but we have to still get back up to me. Okay, can we jump there? Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, so now we need to heal again. <laughs> so. Yeah, now's not the time, Shadowheart. Come on. No time to rest. Okay, so we found her, but she's probably going to get attacked now. So we're going to just look at the infantry, see if we can get our health back in any way. Right, we could do a short rest now, but we used it. I don't really fancy coming all this way again, so I will just save it. But if I really do need to kind of go and come back, then yeah. But I think I will end this one here, because I don't know how long this is going to do take, and we might actually lose. So... Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.